Hi guys, today I am doing pencil eyebrow drawings. I really like doing these a lot. So I'm gonna get started. I'm also blueberry. I see the little problem in that one. There you go. There you go. I think this is a little bit darker. I wanna raise that part. No, it does look like a multi blueberry, but it needs to be a little more wider. Like this one. Okay, I started with this and I'm going to make another layer. And I'm going to make a hand right there to do the same thing right there. I'm touching the brush line again. Then there's then pretty go. Yeah. Don't have to worry anything about the leaf on that head. So I'm right down there. I'm gonna make another sketch layer. And here I'm going to Green, I want a dark green like that. Tap. Zoom, zoom. Another layer. Ah, it's a little wobbly. Shaped egg eye. I have an egg eye. Egg eye. No, not that. That's a weird oh shaped eye. I don't think it's eyes perfectly. It needs to be. That's a perfect eye. There we go. That's my eye. I could even press it properly. I'm gonna make a little identity with him. A little impression. That's my little impression I'm making for my little blueberry thing. To give him not red eyes. Make a purplish, pinkish eye. Pink. That's perfect color. A little bit pink. Yeah, that's weird. Keep him right there. Right there. Make sure that he's looking up. Oh no. I forgot what I. No, not shape. Okay. I changed my mind. Do right that. Like that. No. Oh, his other eye is looking a little derpy. Perfect. My blueberry has to have something with him so he could look at. I'm gonna make a little plant. A huge, huge leaf. Huge plant. That. Let me just put this. Here. Yeah. Put that. Wait, I'm going to make it a little lighter. A little bit. Just a little bit. Not too light. Eh, looks like they came out of nowhere. Okay, 
get three paper clip back. Go. There you go. Get back of that paper clip thing. And I'm going to a new brush. Okay, I want to pick a blue tone, a little light blue tone. A very light blue. I think that's enough. Okay. I think a little bit of darkish. This is the perfect blue for my little guy. So I'm going to make it a little lower. I don't want it to be too big. Oh, it will splatter around everywhere. I'm going to make a little beach background. I think the beach background will look really nice on my little guy. And he's going to have ocean blue skin, my blueberry. I did a little outline a little darker because that one has to come perfection. Oh, I really like this baby blue color. So nice on my little guy. What I like about this pen is the little pen I'm using. I draw with this iPad. Is that at? If we, if we tilt it, it, it will become more color like an actual pen. If you tilt it like this, it will become less color. See that difference? Looks real. I feel like that's a really nice thing about this pencil iPad. Okay, there you go. I'm almost finished with my blueberry. Just this part. I need a lot of green. No, I don't need that. Okay. Iris. Perfect. Yes, yeah, making perfect color. It's light, but not dark. It's dark and light. The perfect color. I like this color. Pinky pink. Oh no! <gasps> I don't want it to spread! No. Oh no, I just... No way. No way. That's I'm gonna make his mouth purple instead of blue. Because I, I forgot which blue I used for the mouth. That's it. Purple is enough. Okay, turn on the fan. Go up here. Yes! And now it's a perfect color. Okay, now it's dry. Perfectly dried. All right for the beach view and the plants.
like my drawings. I hope you liked it. Hit the notification bell, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I'm going to do more drawings from the pencil iPad and my sketchbook. Bye, guys!